My hair probably looks really great right now. So we might go shopping a little bit. I don't know. But we really want to bring Roxy with us. And dogs aren't allowed in the mall. So we're trying to find a disguise. <laughs> do you like getting it? <laughs> or do you hate it? <laughs> you hate it. <laughs> or do you like it? Go in the bag. Go in the bag. Want to go shopping? Get in the bag. <laughs> Act like you're going to get them. He's going to bite you. <laughs> My brother at the mall. We're going shopping for his birthday. We're gonna find some outfits. So we can go club with an e boy. <laughs> Corey and I are walking through that the like high heels shoe section of Dillard's. And he goes, hmm, for some reason I'm thinking of Hannah right now. This is so totally Hannah. Sparkles and high heels. Alright, we got hat number one. <laughs> the Jason Mraz hat. And then, what would you call this one? Paperboy hat. Paperboy? Plaid hat with plaid shirt. Isn't that crotchy? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> I like that. Hat. You mean the white one? They said nice, nice shoes. the car. Oh no, don't explode. Yeah, I just remember all this stuff builds character. I know. Corey had to open the door for me because there's no handle on the inside. OMG, great news. What's that, uh, what's that little number right there? Uh, focus, 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 focus. 10,007! I missed the 10,000 like rollover, but 10,007! I am so happy you guys rule, you're awesome! This is so great, I am so ecstatic. I'm definitely gonna have to do something exciting to celebrate the 10,000th 10, subscription. Who's <laughs> that? Nothing. I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> My brother's like, what are you saying? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you guys. Um, yeah, I'm so happy. Just Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait. Do you see do you see your your reflection on Justin? Make it so he has you have his face. Where's my reflection? Oh maybe you can't see it from there. Go oh. that way. Hey, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Get closer. Oh, to your house. <laughs> oh shit. Who is it? And there's Roxy with really short hair. Oh yeah, I didn't see it. I just walked past it and now I'm gonna walk into your house. I'm almost there. Oh no. What? He's not there? Oh damn. Hey Justin. Oh. What's up, dude? How's uh how's New York? It's good. Is it getting cold there? Um, actually, no. We are at El Beneficio, one of our favorite pizza places downtown. Jesse dyed her hair again. It is redder this time. <laughs> now you definitely look like a little mermaid. Good. <laughs> um, it's up to you. Look at all these delicious little pastries. 
I love this place. I got an eggplant sub. One of my favorite foods. Little Italian flag cakes. Really good. Look how good that pizza looks. Eggplant and uh, ricotta? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And look at my sub. I'm probably gonna eat the whole thing too. Okay, so there's like weird chunks in my tea. And it might be like tea leaves. I don't know if that's normal. It's air I've never had chunks like that in my ears and I see. So I'm gonna go see if that's normal and look at the, at the other bottles. That dog is humongous. That looks like a bear on a leash. You're frustrated. <laughs> Get down. Okay, enough of this. Yeah! Yeah! So, a while back, I saw this movie, this horror movie that was excellent, horribly bad, another horribly bad movie called Sleepaway Camp. Um, almost as horrible as Teen Witch, in a good way. Horribly and bad films with Horribly bad films with Dot <laughs> Welcome to Horribly Bad Films with Dot <laughs> um, And so, I'm like, oh, you guys have to watch this. But they don't have it on Instant Watch on Netflix. So, they have Return to Sleepaway Camp, which is the uh, sequel. So, um, we're gonna watch it and see what we think of it. Hopefully it's even worse. Yeah, I hope it is worse. Alright, so we just finished the movie and it was nothing like the first, the original Z-Boy Camp. However, I would suggest watching the original to understand some of the points in this one. Wouldn't you say that there was something that didn't well, make maybe sense? Maybe we should have watched that one first. Yeah, we probably should have watched the original first. This one, however, was horrib- I don't know if it was horribly good. It might just be plain no, horrible. it was just horrible. And we're very disturbed. It was extremely disturbing. The beginning credits are really fancy and really well done. They spend the most money. I know. I feel like they spend a lot of money on the opening credits. And it just makes the rest of the movie seem horrible anyway. The chef in the movie... I'm gonna look it up on IMDb, but I, his voice is exactly like Chef from South Park. And he has the exact same outfit on as Chef from South Park. So I don't know what that's all about. And, and there was a guy appears. with a, what do you call the thing that makes... Voice talker, Vo radio... It's like robot. when you, like smokers, when they lose their voice and they have the machine that makes them talk. They also have a character that does that in South Park, so I don't know if that this has anything oh, to do. Oh, Yeah. It has strange similarities to South Park. <laughs> Why did we watch it? <laughs> I'm not going to recommend seeing it. I, I can't even, I was going to say you guys should watch it and then you could listen to like the reviews. I just don't think you should ever see it. It's horrible. Speechless, obviously. Yeah, the kids were so mean. The, the entire movie. camp was demented. They like tortured this kid. Like I couldn't sympathize with anybody. So then really. they all get killed, and then they just deserve it. That was horrible. So it doesn't teach you a very good lesson. So we're looking for suggestions for horribly good movies. And it could have a Halloween slant. Yeah, we want to have like a Halloween yeah. themed Halloween themed movies. So if you, have, if you have any suggestions, like for example, we love Trolls too. We love Teen Witch. So if you if you know a movie like that, suggest that to us, <laughs> and we will watch it. Hi guys, it is super late. Jesse and Yuki hung out for a long time, but I'm reading through all the comments and there's so many congratulations for the 10,000 subscribers, so thank you for that. Um, there's a lot of good ideas. One comment suggested that I do a live show, which I just need to ask Allie and Charles how to do that, and I would love to try that. Um, one of these comments, this one, it lists all the things you shouldn't feed your dog, um, including avocado, which I fed my dog, Alcohol, which Roxy's drank wine off the floor before. Onions, she's definitely had in an omelet. Garlic, for sure. Coffee, maybe never coffee. Never tea. Um, she's had milk, she's had dairy products, she's had grapes and raisins. Macadamia nuts, candy, gum. She's eaten gum out of my purse. Chocolate. She's definitely eaten bones before that she's found in the yard. Peaches, plums. I don't know if she's eaten a raw egg. And it says, please check before feeding your animal and these things. And I totally agree, you should definitely look up what's bad for dogs and not feed your dogs that. Unfortunately, Roxy's 11 years old, and to be completely honest, we were bad at raising, a, like, Roxy's a complete brat because we spoiled her and gave her everything she wanted. Um, but at this point, she's eaten all of those things, and she's 11. So thank you very much for warning me what not to feed my dog, and I will definitely take that into consideration next time I get a dog, but I think 
if you haven't noticed by now, Roxy's like the worst trained, worst raised dog in the planet. <laughs> and she gets whatever she wants. And now that she's 11, she's basically a grandma, so I just try to give her what she wants to make her happy. Um, but I will certainly be more cautious about what I feed her, because I don't want her to get sick. Yeah, I'm exhausted. So tomorrow I have a very long day, um, but it should be really fun. I have, to, I have to get shoes, I have to make business cards, I don't know when I'm going to do that. Um, hopefully I'll find some time. But yeah, I'm so I'm going to go to bed happy, having good dreams because I have 10,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much. I will definitely have to make some kind of video um, to celebrate it. So we'll see. Maybe it'll be a surprise. So yeah, good night and I'll see you guys tomorrow.